What's up, my beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Block Spricks. I'm Ed the Block, of course, my beautiful girlfriend, Cynthia. And today, we are putting the rumors to rest. Yes, Costco did release the set early. Here is Boba Fett's Palace. We're going to put it together, review it, guys, and check it out. Check it out. Stick around. Don't want to miss it. Today, we're going to be covering this set, set number 75326. This is Boba Fett's Palace, aka Jabba's Palace. This is a new 2022 set that came out actually about a week early. So we've seen a bunch of rumors on Instagram and on YouTube and everything like that. Everyone across the country is going to Costco and finding these sets. Not only are they finding it, but they're finding it at a discounted price of 20% off. So we got these bad boys for $79.99. Well, rumors are confirmed. They have it for 80 bucks here. And they have a lot of them. <laughs> We're gonna pick up a couple of them. So we picked up two of them. And yeah, a lot of controversy about this set and you know what it looks like uh, as opposed to the older sets. And to be honest, um, yeah, a little bit disappointed. We're gonna talk about it, guys, though. We're gonna put the set together. We're gonna put a review together and see what we think about it and put a little comparison to the other older set. All right, so tabs, Lego, I'm gonna get you one day for this. Stop doing tabs. <laughs> Nobody likes tabs. Yeah, we, we like to keep those intact. We don't wanna open that side, so we're gonna open the other side. Even though this side has the tabs, we're still gonna open it this side. And we're still gonna use our little trusty brick separator here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six bags. And the book that didn't even come wrapped this time. So, yeah, a little awkward because it's, it's this way, not that way. <laughs> Let's go. It looks nice. I mean, it pretty much looks like the box. Nothing to feature inside the book. There's literally no previews of sets. There's no introductions. No, just the instructions. So, nothing to see there. Let's get straight to it. All right, guys, we're done. Let's get straight to the review. I love this little minifigure. This is the, I guess, wig weight bar, they call it. And it's got a nice torso print. I love it. The, the face print is pretty wicked. No leg printing or anything. Got a nice little blaster there. No leg printing or side sidearm printing. But the back is pretty cool. I love how they connected the head print with the torso print to make it look like those little, you know, hair extensions go all the way down to the bottom. But this is the uh, Weebly Guard or Weak Weight. I'm, I'm killing that name probably. Weak Weight Guard. Pretty cool. Let's move on to the next minifig. And here you have the Thelen Dancer. She is a pretty cool minifigure. She actually has printing on her torso and her legs all the way down her toes. No side or arm print, but that pink hair piece is pretty dang wicked. She's got a nice little back print as well. And I do believe she has two face prints. So there's a face print, guys, and that is a pretty cool face print. I like it. Um, she does, again, have two different face prints. There's one of them. There is a second one, really mean mugging looking one. So it is pretty cool. But that is her. That is the Thelen Dancer. Pretty cool minifigure. All right, and here we have Quarren, guys. This is actually one of my, probably one of my favorite figures, if not my favorite minifigure here from the set because it just looks really cool. He's got a nice, nice head. I don't even call it head print, a, a head mold. Um, good printing all the way down to the legs. Torso print as well. I'm gonna show you what it looks like without his head so you can get a good shot of the print. But you turn it around, he's got some really nice 
matte printing as well so this is a pretty cool molded piece i mean it's unfortunate obviously you cannot move his head back and forth but because of the uh, beard there but I'm gonna show you what the torso looks like real quick. So you see underneath the head, he does have a really cool torso for him. Fortunately, you can't see it obviously because the beard does cover it, but it's there nonetheless. But there he is guys, that is Quan and is, is pretty cool minifigure, love it. All right, up next, another really cool minifigure, Big Bit Fortuna. It is my first Bit Fortuna, so pretty cool, pretty excited to have it. He is supposed to come with a little staff weapon that I forgot to put together, but yeah. Um, that is the minifigure guys, it is pretty decent printing. It is a little dark, a little hard to see, but if you can see it there in the reflection of the light, he does have some pretty detailed printing blue hands no side print no side leg print he does have some back printing there actually looks pretty nice but let me take off the head to show you the front of his torso so you see his full print and there is the full print guys again it is a pretty cool detailed look and it does you know flow all the way down to the leg so it's a really nice minifigure and he does have a second look there he is. that is a much more menacing wicked laughing look i mean pretty cool it's a really cool minifigure and super happy to have in my collection all right, and here we have the Gamorrean Guard, and this one is probably what a, one of my favorites as well. Probably second favorite next to, uh, what was his name there, uh, Quarren. Uh, this one is a pretty nice one. I, I'm disappointed that I didn't get two, honestly. There should have been two Gamorrean Guards. I think that would have been great, but you know, I'm sure Lego in their wisdom, they're going to have some other set where it has another Gamorrean Guard. So if you want to compete your two Gamorrean Guards, you're going to have to purchase another Boba set, uh, Boba Fett set to complete it but that is him guys it's a pretty pretty cool molding um you know again this is my first Gamorrean card i do believe from the past um you know minifigs this is a much much better upgrade i'll probably throw up some pictures if i can but that is him guys a Gamorrean guard is a really nice piece all right guys so i did not save the best for last this is fennec shan guys if you got moff gideon's cruiser it is pretty much the exact same minifigure except you got the hair instead of the helmet so i actually like the way it looked with the helmet better and i was disappointed that we didn't get a hair piece last time but this time we got the hair piece and i'm still disappointed it's because i i don't know i just don't like the hair piece i think they could have found something a little bit better but at least we got the hair piece but if you don't have a fennec shan um you know it's a little bit cheaper to get this set than the 160 dollars moff gideon cruiser so this is your opportunity to grab a fennec shan but it will not come with the helmet which again is unfortunate they could have just thrown in the helmet and the hair that would have been pretty cool but yeah that's unfortunate but that is fennec shan and of course the biggest tragedy of them all boba fett again I, I love the minifigure i absolutely love the minifigure when i first saw it when i first got it i'm like man that's killer that's wicked and i love it i, I do love the minifigure I, I don't particularly pay attention to the colors but i'm disappointed because they didn't fix it they should have fixed it they they very well can fix it and i don't know why they haven't fixed it but we still got the you know mismatched colors the green and you know the light green and then the torso being the darker green so it's unfortunate that we don't get to uh you know get that correction and we're dealing still with these off colors but that is nonetheless still a really cool minifigure i love the minifigure nonetheless but you know unfortunate of course he still comes with that cool little face print same as always no back printing uh, or back face print but that is him both that guys probably the biggest tragedy unfortunate but that's what we got all right guys so here you guys have it this is boba fett's throne room and again it actually looks pretty nice um i gotta say that i actually like it i, I do like it I'm new to Lego collecting from my perspective. I don't have a Jab Jabba's Palace. Obviously, I wish I had it. I can't afford it right now because uh, I'm buying too many other new Legos. But, you know, for what it is, Jabba's, I mean, I'm sorry, Boba Fett's throne room. It's not the palace set. They capture the throne quality in this pretty good, especially because, you know, you can actually take this throne out. And you can actually have it as a feature in itself so it's pretty cool i'm gonna talk a little bit more about those features here but yeah this is what it is guys and it's uh, you know is it disappointing yeah yeah i know a lot of people a lot of people are going to be disappointed about this it's just it's not the Jabba's palace of yesteryear or whatever whenever year that came out um but yeah i'm gonna throw up some pictures up here so you guys can actually see the difference but yeah you know it's it's a little disappointing i mean i don't know why they made it such a big issue where you have to be you know politically correct but that's a little too extreme to me you guys are gonna start changing features of what's part of a movie it's not a mosque it's a, it's a palace and that's what they how they picture the palace and people are just getting too sensitive for my you know for my liking these days you know just show love for one another that's all we need to do um but some people like you know I, I get why they did it but i just i don't agree with it but this is what we get instead you know this outside look it just it looks bad you know, I, I just, I wish I had this dome there. It would really look nice if you had some kind of dome feature here. Um, you do got a cool little snake there. So that's a nice little substitute. <laughs> you got these little turrets here. They're on the little boss swivel. 
So they got, you know, protection for anyone wanting to enter. So there's a little cool little feature with the door here. You can see that that eye does come out, pops itself out there. And it's pretty cool um, because it actually helps when you lift the door here from the back to actually help keep the door up. So, you know, you can get your minifigures and, you know, they can go through the door and whatnot. They can actually come through the door without you having to hold up the door. But pretty neat feature. I like the little printed piece of that eye there. And when the door is down, you can actually fit somebody back here. Now you can't, there's no studs or anything to put them on top of, but you can actually set a minifigure back there and they'll, they'll fit. So it's pretty cool. I guess um, the top here got these grills. I'm not, they're just grills. They're not, there's no feature to it or anything like that. Um, you know, again, it's very bland here in the back. Can't really much to say about it. These doors do attach, detach themselves here. So they're put together with these little hinges here so you can actually close it. So when we get around to it, the front of this feature is where the money's at you know if you're you're gonna get any kind of enjoyment from this is from what the throne is it's not the palace again and it's a little disappointing but you do get a cool throne feature for what it is it is pretty cool um you know you got that little seating area right here so they come in and have some drinks you got the throne right there in the front which of course you can get boba fett and throw them right on top there have them sit on the throne one of the features here if you see this got this little lever right here it's pretty cool because it kind of is a feature play feature for the kids you know when they want to get into it how oh, even the adults you put bit fortuna in here and give this a little swing and boom he goes flying out there so pretty neat feature nice little fun feature that it has there so you can appreciate that the look in here the little sticker pieces that you have in the back and even in the top um you know they, they came out pretty nice and it looks really cool the like, cool feature is that it does open from the back so even though it is a little tight you can open it up just like on this side you got this that comes apart you can close it here and kind of make it enclosed here same as with this side right here you got another really cool feature here so if you have uh you know boba fett or whatever kind of walking through the steps here so you got a little tiny knob right here and just like that knob over there you're just going to give it a little twist and kind of gives them the feature of them getting knocked out and thrown off the uh, stairs there so you got another cool little feature the other side of the tower here you do have some space for putting you know a guard or whatever you want there i think you can get your gamorian guard in here set them on in there so you know again another cool little feature but you know it, that's pretty much it got a nice little control panel there turn it around again this does come off as well so you can kind of enclose it like this and you can actually kind of display it, it kind of looks like a little room in there so actually that that's my preferred way but the back here you can pull this open here and yank on it and it does open up so you can open up to see the inside of the features here so you can see he's got a little barbecue grill he's got his bones over there got a nice little drink over here the back looks like a kitchen what looks like some security cameras a little security pad looks pretty cool i mean uh it's pretty pretty decent and it does give it some access for playability and everything like that you can put your minifigures out here and play with them out here so you know it'd be pretty cool but yeah it's a pretty decent feature guys again it is a little tight space in here but it does open up which is pretty cool but that is it guys that is the uh boba fett's throne room so that was it ladies and gentlemen that was my review for boba fett's palace it's um it's a nice set it's a nice set i actually love the build it was actually pretty fun uh minifigs pretty cool except for that boba fett <laughs> yeah we're still having problems with that boba fett color um you know it, it is what it is guys i i you know i can't say that i like the missing dome here all this controversy about oh it looks like a moss type that's just it's just too much. Anyways, I don't want to get into the politics, vibes, but it, it just, it's upsetting to see that we had to, you know, compromise the dome to appease to some sensitivity of some others. But, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, again, make this a big deal, but it just would look better if we had the dome here. I would absolutely love if we had the dome. This would have made the set 10 times better, 100 times better. Um, so I'm just very happy. We're very fortunate that we actually were able to get it for $20 off. That made it much more uh, bearing for me. Yeah, it was yeah, it was bearable for us. You know, it's like I was still would have spent a hundred dollars anyways, but it, it makes it <laughs> it makes it easier for us to know that we got it for eighty bucks instead of a hundred bucks and a hundred dollars and everything. But it, you know, again, guys, it's a nice set for what it is. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna try my very first mock and see if I can actually add a little dome feature to this probably raise the tower just a little bit more but <laughs> anyways guys that was our review i'm starting to lose my voice so we're gonna call it a night we love you guys so very much for checking out our channel if you guys like the content again we'd appreciate uh you guys smashing that like button for to support us 
and definitely don't forget to subscribe we're climbing up there on our subscriber count and we're getting ready to hit 500 subscribers so if you haven't already subscribed guys make sure you're subscribed for your chance to win the batmobile and the tattooing homestead um the purchases or the i'm sorry the gifts that we'll be giving out for our 500 subscriber giveaway so yeah this one this one and that one <laughs> and probably again these are really <clears throat> cool i'll probably throw this something else exclusive How maybe could a minifigure or something like that but guys that is it we appreciate you guys so much guys we love you guys may the force be with you and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out